Hello again. We're playing with the UBTech UKIT Intermediate, and I just want to play with the servo itself. Um, so again, we've got it plugged into, it doesn't matter which of the three port, three pin ports you have it plugged into. There's three over here, a couple over here. This is the main uh, controller board. Servo with a little thing attached. So it's hard to get off. Come on. I just have it there so we can see where zero is. It's lined up. Ta-da. So I just have it on there um, for our zero. And on off switch, the UKIT EDU app. Go in here. Um, I need to make sure I'm turned on. You should be able to see some lights flashing on the uh, servo. Uh, I'm not going to build a model because these are all their models they've got set up that walk you through. We're just going to go to a project, start a new project, and we just want to play with the servo uh, blocks. So first of all, we've got to connect. And again, the bottom shows some numbers. Look for those numbers there connect and hopefully it says I've got a servo attached yay and it says the servo one so again the number is important because you've got multiple servos in the kits so you got to know which one you're working with and which one you're trying to make happen so moves let's just try that um, rotate servo to zero degrees and do it in 400 milliseconds rotate servo to you now I want to go to 118 from 118 to 118. All right. So that's what that does. So not, um, can we type? I don't think we can type, but we can, because um, if you want to increment it, so it's plus or minus increment. Uh, get it started at zero. I like doing that. All right, so we know what that one does. And so we can rotate to a certain degree. All right, so tip play. It should reset, reset to zero at the beginning and then go to there, okay. Um, sometimes it's nice to put in a little bit of weight so it doesn't do things like immediately. That's in milliseconds. So thousand milliseconds is Go, wait a half second, and then turn. Okay. Um, I like that block. So if I click and hold, I can copy. Oh, I copied that. That's okay. I'm going to get rid of that. The other servo, there are two other ones. Rotate a servo clockwise at 60% speed. Um, let's see what this does. So boom, go there, and now rotate 60%. And it did it. And then the program ended. So we're going to have to add something to keep it going. So that could be a weight. It could be a repeat until some other condition happens. It could be a repeat several times or it could just be an infinite repeat. Let's drop the infinite repeat. Okay. Set to zero, turn, wait, and then spin, and just keep spinning at 60% speed, clockwise. And how would I get it to stop? Well, I'd have to put a if button, for like put a button on there, if button press, do something, or just, you know, hit stop. Um, clockwise, obviously we've got counterclockwise. Oh, and rotate, ser stop servo. Awesome. So that's in there too. Okay. And change the speed, zero to hundred percent. Okay. Um, but we're going to go, let's go back to that. Um, I don't want to repeat forever. So let's just have it go for um, a few seconds. 4,000. So let's do this. Reset to zero, turn. And rotate clockwise 60% speed for four seconds. Okay. 
And then there is one other on there. Rotate 360 degrees clockwise at medium speed. I'm guessing that's only going to make one revolution. We'll find out. Reset to zero. Turn. Spin 360 for four seconds. Um, we might have to stop servo after that. Let's do that. Let's um, let's stop the servo after four seconds. Um, let's give it. Let's get a little weight in there again, so I know. Wait a wait a second, so we know what's happening. All right. So again, we're going to set to zero turn to 103 degrees wait half a second spin at 60 percent speed for four seconds stop wait a second and then that last block rotate servo 360 clockwise medium i'm assuming that's speed very slow slow medium faster okay yeah let's see what happens zero turn spin Stop. Rotate 360, but it didn't go 360. Well, I'm guessing because the program ended. So we might have to... Let's see what happens with this. I don't know. How do you get it to actually turn a 360? Yeah, it's just going to keep turning 360. Which I don't see what the difference would be between that and rotate servo would be. Um, let's try this. Let's try a weight after there. It's going to copy everything. You know that, right? Yep, yes, we do. Um, wait four seconds. Now let's see what happens. So we're doing our spinning, and then it's going to stop, and then it's supposed to rotate 360. See, it's doing the same thing. I thought it might only rotate actually 360 degrees. So I don't know the difference between rotate servo and rotate servo 360. Um, clockwise, clockwise, 60% speed, medium speed. Those, I mean, those seem to be the same thing. We'll have to find out. I don't know. Thanks for watching.